Hey everyone, Greta here. Today I'll be sharing with you some of the shapes that are supposed to be very, very relaxing, but for my body, they don't work. Um, and I'll be sharing with you how I actually modify them. And the reason why I to show these two is to let you know that not all bodies fit into one shape. Even though that shape might be super relaxing, you know, with the help of the wall, maybe with a block and all this stuff, but to some bodies, they just don't work. So it's perfectly fine to adjust it and to make it that so that they work for your body. So let's check them out. One of the shapes that are uh, very, very popular is the seated forward fold. And um, for me, you know, the straight leg seated forward fold, if I engage everything and then fold forward, yes, I am okay. However, if we do it like a relaxing stretch or maybe like a yin shape, where you just kind of drape over like that, this doesn't work for me. Um, for this one, if I stay here for too long, because I have a yoga butt problem, it's been like this since like the beginning, very beginning of my yoga practice and it never went away. So if I just kind of hang out like this for long enough, this part of the body, the right butt, would definitely feel that shooting pain. So it doesn't matter if I'm sitting directly on the floor, on a block, um, even with the you know, knees slightly bent like that, I could always feel it. So what I actually do is, and it really depends, I mean, for this, the purpose, if it is to you know, stretch the back of my legs, I generally come a little bit higher. However, if the shape is to release the tension in the lower back, what I usually do is I do a long, turtle pose, a long butterfly. So I just let your, the knees flop out. And for me, I can definitely feel that release in the lower back without you know, the, uh, my right butt screaming like crazy. Another one is um, with the help of the wall, the legs up, um, legs up against the wall. It's a super relaxing shape. Um, and I do have the same situation with the seated fourth fold. So if I do this, if my legs are up straight for too long, again, I would feel the right butt really, really, really complaining. So what do I do? Um, if I have space, I would open my legs out, but then if I don't want the hip to take in all the, the, the tension, if I just want to you know, relax the body and feel the legs kind of relax, I would actually do this. I would kind of cross my legs, not in a butterfly, again, because I don't want to uh, feel the stretching of my hips to see the focus. I just cross my legs and I just chill. And this to me is relaxing enough. And of course, if I have a chair, I would put my legs on the seat of a chair. That would also work. Another one, surprise, surprise, something that I really enjoy doing. I used to enjoy doing, but recently I don't enjoy doing it anymore. Um, I always, always have to you know, readjust the position block. It's a supported bridge. So I'm sure this one we all do this, or we all have done it in some point of a practice, is to lift the hips up and slide the block underneath uh, the body. So it uh, doesn't matter how high the block is for me, uh, lower back doesn't work because I feel um, there's too much tension in the lower back, even with this height. Uh, sacrum which is further down slightly lower than my lower back if i stay here for long enough i feel the right lower back cringing so there are two options for me to do either slide the block all the way down so it's supporting my butt and just kind of relax just kind of hang or one additional thing that i do is when I am here, I would think that my lower back is lengthening a lot, like stretching a lot more. And then I just kind of wiggle my butt and let it come down towards the mat. So I could never just kind of lift and prop the block underneath my lower back and just hang. I can't. I have to do a lot more adjustments, uh, you know, wiggling and all that stuff in order to create the space in my lower back so it doesn't feel uh, jammed and doesn't again yeah, feel achy. One very last shape that I always cannot do it is Shavasana. <laughs> 
the traditional way where you just kind of lay flat on the floor with your feet about mats with arms beside the body for me if i just do it like this my lower back would be again screaming it's like all my body parts are screaming uh, because of the interior tilt I have in my pelvis so I've just lay here like that yes you can see there's a huge arch in my lower back um, if I stay here for too long there will be a huge compression right here um, something that my body clearly doesn't enjoy so what I usually do is if I'm asked to come into Shavasana I would first of all move my pelvis so my entire lower back is come and down towards the mat so I have a posterior tilt of my pelvis and this is what I usually do I have one leg straight one knee bent I just kind of hang for a while letting the lower back kind of ease into the mat and then once everything feels good and then slowly I would if that feels good straighten my right leg and if I do I always feel that I keep the pelvis in a posterior tilt slightly in a posterior tilt so there is a bit more space in my lower back to relax but then usually if I am allowed like if the teacher knows me well and doesn't come in and judge me I would just kind of chill out like this for the entire duration of the Shavasana and that actually feels really good so that's it for my sharing for today again it's nothing crazily like inspiring or whatever but just want to let you know that again yeah, even for you know someone like me who's been practicing yoga for a very long time um you know it doesn't matter you know not every shape works for every body but there's always a variation for it that works so instead of jamming your body into that particular shape find a similar shape that works for your body so that's it hope you enjoy it um like the video share it, and subscribe it uh, to my channel if you haven't already done so and if you like to practice with me just dm me either on facebook or through ig and i'll get back to you asap take it easy bye bye